Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here and today is a fun episode and different episode of Silver Hunt Sunday. I went to the market, I uh, went to a garage sale and uh, um, picked up some interesting things along the way but in terms of uh, stuff for the channel I was able to pick up uh, some unique silver in a bag of spoons that I got an amazing deal. So let's bring that over right, in, right away and show you what I've got here. So this is what uh, came from the bag. Um, you'll see a, a bunch of uh, different items here, and um, it's basically a bunch of just uh, tourist spoons and whatnot, nickel or tin, and uh, not even nickel, but uh, sorry, tin and uh, chrome. Chrome plate, a lot of these are. A couple pewter ones, uh, you know, there's some interesting ones. There's one from Cuba there. We were in Cuba recently, so that's kind of fun. Um, but uh, I'm not a spoon guy or anything like that. But the reason uh, why I picked this bag up is, uh, you know, there's some fun things in here and a little Rolex spoon. And I'll put these up on uh, eBay and uh, try and get a, a couple dollars or a dollar for each one and stuff like that. Uh, just try and help supplement the purchase. Uh, but I only paid a couple dollars for this uh, entire bag of spoons anyways. And uh, there's two things that intrigued me about this bag when I took a quick glance. And they're right here. So we've got a silver um, Disneyland Disneyland spoon. Now a couple things about that. First off, uh, you know, collectible value. It's an older Disneyland spoon. I throw that up on the internet. It's going to get uh, a little bit of value out of it, anyways. But it is. I flipped it over. I saw this in the bag, and there it is. Oops, sterling. Better. So it says sterling, I was like, well, that's very good. And then Walt Disney and tells you, and there's the markings and that. So, um, you know, interesting piece to pick up and uh, for the price I paid for the bag, well worth it. Um, and and uh, just took a quick scan of this particular one on online. Looks like I'm gonna be able to sell it for about 25 to 35 bucks Canadian or so, depending on how fast I wanna sell it, but uh, Nice little pick up and score there. So some silver added to the stack or to rotate to get some other silver or whatnot there. My wife found a nice dress at the same garage sale too, so that was a bonus. Um, and this one's interesting as well, and I haven't really, I haven't looked into the value of these. What you'll find, you'll buy a bag, it's like buying a bag of coins uh, for maybe a couple of silver coins that are in there. Um, some of these are going to have value anyways because, you know, Rolex, so maybe somebody will want to collect that. Um, a lot of these other ones won't. Um, this one maybe because it's an old, uh, an old Expo, 86 Expo, um, Vancouver Expo one. Um, but uh, there's a couple of just plain like, you know, dishware in there as well. Um, nothing too, so too, too exciting. But then you got some weird fun ones like this where you got the uh, Golden Gate Bridge on the top of it. So um, I feel like these may uh, get a couple bucks anyways or uh, throw my own garage sale and make my money back on the bag anyways. But um, the other piece that was interesting was this one. It's from Mexico. It is not silver that I can tell unless it's not marked, which I guess is possible, but... Um, it's just a plate, but it has a piece of jade on the end of it. I need to confirm it for sure to make sure that it is authentic. Um, it's not plastic, it's definitely stone. Um, that's cool. And I feel like that's going to have a little bit of value to it as well. So for a, a couple of dollars and then a fun morning out with my wife, uh, we were able to pick that stuff up as well. And then I went by the antique market and... Um, did some scanning around there and one of the things that I think is uh, important when you're out at the market and that is uh, make sure you you know keep your yourself focused on what you're doing and don't spend too much money um, too much currency cash don't you know don't hurt your cash flow so I have a um, some things I focus on when I'm out and I'll say no and uh, even though if I see some other deals and that they're good but I picked up a couple of Franklin half dollars and there's a big reason, uh, well, I'm trying to fill a, another tube of Franklin's, so that's a current focus. Um, well, Franklin half dollars there. And what I like about the Franklin's is that um, you don't spend really, when I go buy these, they don't cost me really anything more. If I buy a barber half and stuff like that, it's going to cost me more than a Franklin. Now, I like barbers, I'm trying to fill up a tube of those as well, but they're, because of the collector value and whatnot. But, um, Franklin's tend to be the least worn down American half dollar. 
um, just do the way they were circulated and uh, you know, lots of reasons reasons uh, basically but when you buy a Franklin half dollar you're generally getting more silver in that half dollar than you are if you're getting a uh, like a walker or a um, especially a barber because barbers are usually quite worn down uh, and you'll pay more for those because of the collector value so in terms of silver weight and collecting old coins that still have a great history behind them 1952 and 1962 a decade apart and uh, both in great condition uh, considering you know the age of them and whatnot um, I'm buying these cheap nice and cheap and uh, you know great shape so just a great a good thing to think about especially uh, the young stackers that I've uh, noticed are starting to follow my channel a bit more um, there's some fun coins out there but if you want to go for weight and some history in your coins and keep your your, your cost you know your value to your money uh, your cost down a bit buy your, your um, Franklin half dollars because you're getting more weight in that coin generally so, very cool so I think that was a pretty, pretty successful weekend uh, successful silver hunt hopefully everybody enjoyed that something a little bit differently so we've got the Franklin halves the silver spoon and then the Mexico spoon with a jade on it there and I'll do some digging into these and if I find anything that's worth a ton of money for some crazy reason and you'll get that like for whatever reason this you know Rothbury spoon may be really sought after by collectors and I'll look it up and um, you know I'll get $25 for a non-silver spoon or more right I've, it, things like that have happened uh, for sure and uh, it's kind of fun to, to go through that and do a little bit of investigating and then the few bucks I make off of that will pay for um, you know my next trip out to the antique market and garage sale so thanks for joining me everybody today if you did like this video please hit that thumbs up button it really helps out and if you head on down to that subscribe button the big red subscribe button and hit that notification bell beside it You'll get all the notifications about my videos and you won't miss a thing. And I have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. I'll be doing the drawing when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So the faster we get there, the faster we get new subs, the faster the draw. Um, head, head on over to that video. The link will be at the end of this video. And uh, get yourself a chance to win some awesome prizes. There's three separate prize packs. Uh, some swag, some clothing, a tote bag, and lots of silver as well. So please head on over uh, to that video and check it out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. And I've got lots of videos coming up this week. And I'll finally get back in order. Um, I've got some unboxings. And I've also got to, uh, still need to talk about what apps and stuff I use. I keep saying I'm going to do that. And then something uh, more exciting comes up. So I, uh, I want to get back to that and uh, back on schedule. So thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Canadian Silver Saver, out.